Okay, guys, I'm going to go over page three of our weekly number booklet and the expectations on how to solve them. On, I'm going to show you this two different ways, one with an addition and one with a subtraction, okay, equation. First way, actually, I am going to show it to you in three ways. Um, I'm going to show you also up to multiplication, okay? All right, so if we have an equation that is addition, I want you to show it to me in four different ways proving that you can solve this equation. So let's start off with our number of the day, which was 43, and let us add to it. So we're gonna make it larger. So we're gonna have 43 and we're going to add, let's say we're going to add 39 to 43. Okay, so what we want to do, first one, it says solve using a number line. Okay, so we, what we want to do is start off with one of our numbers and count up from there using a number line. I always like when I'm adding to start with my larger number, start from that number, and then add further on. So what we're going to do is start at 43, okay, using our number line. Here we are at 43, there's our number that we're going to start with, and we're going to add 39 to it. Now we can do this by, like we did on our first page with our number line, showing with jumps through the place values. So here we're going to do three jumps of 10. Always start with your largest place value. Do your big numbers first, that's way easier, then add in those little ones. So we're at 43 and we're going to do three jumps of 10, 10, 10, and 10, 10, 20, 30, just like that, okay? So if we're at 43 and I jump by 10, that brings me to 53, and then I add another group of 10, that brings me to 63, and then if I bring another group of 10, we're at 73. Now what we have to do is add in a jump of nine. There's two ways you can do this. You can do nine little jumps of one, okay? So you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then count up. So we were at 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. That would get you to your answer. Please circle your answer to show me that's your answer. Or there's another way you can do this. Once you get really strong with your numbers and understanding your numbers, you can do the same thing as we did at the beginning. Start off with your 43. Do your three jumps of 10. I'm gonna add this. Okay, so that's 53, 63, and 73, these are all worth 10. Then what you can do is say, hey, wait a second, nine is really, really close to 10. I'm gonna take a jump of 10 and then take one away. So you can do one more jump of 10, which brings you to 83, but we don't want to add 10, we only want to add nine. So then you take I like to go underneath, take one away, that gets you to 82, and there's your answer. Okay, so two different ways you can show it on a number line. Use those easy numbers. It makes it way quicker and more efficient for you to do your, to do your math. Solve it by combining smaller numbers into big numbers, those nice easy tens, okay? So now we know our answer is 82. So we can put down our equal sign or is the same as sign, okay? And that's 82. Here's another way I want you to solve it. It says solve using base 10 block pictures. Okay, well, we're just gonna draw them as base 10s and then we're gonna combine them together to see our answer. So our first number is 43. I'm gonna draw that as my base 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. And then beside it, go one, two, three. 
So 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. There's our 43. And now we want to add 39. Underneath it, let's do 39. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay, now what we wanna do is go and group numbers together that make easier numbers to count up by. Right here, we have a group of nine units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right from this number, 39. Well, nine and one more makes 10. So what we wanna do is group these guys together to get a group of 10. So then you can count it. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And now this one makes a group of 80, 81, 82. Okay, so we're at 82. Solve by working through the place values. Okay, so we're gonna use our numbers. We're going to put them into expanded form like we did on the first page. And then we're going to use that expanded form to make it really easy to add. So 43 is 40 and three. Okay, 39 is 30 and nine more. Now we wanna put all those together. Well, 40 plus 30, we're at 40, and we add three more groups of 10, 50, 60, 70. Plus three plus nine, or working smarter, not harder, start at your larger number, nine plus three. We're at nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh. That's not 82. We know our answer has to be 82 because we have to put these together first. So what's 70 plus 12? 70 plus 10 is 80. Zero plus two is two. Okay? That's one way you can solve it through working through the place values. I'm gonna show you underneath another way. Once you are really, um, you can work through the place values easily. This is what you, I want you to do. 43 plus 39 is the same thing as this 40 plus 30 is seven groups of 10. You put seven in the tens place value, okay? Now, that's our 70. Three plus nine is 12. You need to line that up so it's proper. Put your place values properly. When you add those together, sorry, that's on an angle, you get 82. A couple ways you can do to work through the place values. As long as you're showing me that you understand what each number, pardon me, each digit is worth, and you're combining that, okay? Solve using the algorithm. Using the algorithm is just lining up your numbers, one on top of the other, and then adding them. Making sure you're lining up your place values properly. Okay, so we have 43 plus 39. Okay, so now we're just going to add. So we look at our ones place value first. Let's do a little dividing line there. Okay, these are our ones. We have nine plus three more. That's 12. But the number 12 has two digits in it. You cannot fit two digits into one place value. One place value, one digit. So if I look at the number 12, I go, oh wait, this number here, the two, is in the ones place value. 
That goes in the ones place value. This digit here, this one, is actually worth 10 because the number 12 is 10 plus two more. So then we put he it over here to show that this one, there's one more group of 10. So you put down the two, you carry your group of 10 over here into the tens place value where it belongs. Now we're gonna add these all up. Four plus one is five, plus three more is six, seven, eight. And we look at our answer, 82, which is what we got to begin with. Okay guys, that's what I'm expecting for you if you get an addition sheet for your weekly equation. The next video will show you what to do if you're doing it with subtraction. All right guys, take care.